I'm gonna talk about five, five things. So the first thing you do to write your own mini lessons is, or the first thing I do, I'm sure there's many different <laughs> ways to do this. This is just my way, uh, is I just start with a skill or like some sort of term like dialogue or anything. Like it could be a grammar concept. It could be, you know, developing characters. It could be anything. My website, I have three vocabulary lists uh, for each genre of writing, for three genres of writing. So for narrative, for information and argument. And it, so if you go to amandawritenow.com and you I think if you scroll down and you go to mini lessons, you will see there are um, vocabulary lists. So you could pick a word from these lists. So you just click mini lessons on my web homepage and it says like information vocabulary list, narrative vocabulary, argument vocabulary. And so just pick any concept off of those. And uh, so that's the first thing, pick, pick something. Pick a skill or term you want your students to learn or you notice your students are really struggling with. And then you follow the mini lesson structure and you just like input the information you think students, you want students to exhibit into the structure. So what's the structure? So I always try and have some sort of hook and I'll talk about different types of hooks in a second. So the structure is a hook. You want to hook your kids in. You want to make them laugh. You want to make them kind of go, what? Did you just say that? You want them to like, you know, you just want to hook them in. Uh, and then you name the teaching points. You tell them exactly what they're going to learn today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use dialogue correctly, and you're going to be able to do it by the end of this period. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Nod your head if you believe me. Shake your head if you don't believe me. I, I like play with my students like that during, during my many lessons. I like to keep it fun. Uh, okay, so you state the teaching point. Then you model. So, and I actually posted a chart with this structure on my Instagram account, but I'll put it in the comments of this video uh, so you can kind of see this model broken down for you. But uh, you model. So either you model by writing, like doing it yourself under a document camera, or you model by having like a slide that has it all done and like all the rules. And actually I just like Googled, you know, punctuating dialogue. And there's this really cool graphic that I found. It was like the first hit. You show students that, right? And it's like exactly like all the rules really. And I'll put a link to this too. You just show students this, right? And this is your modeling. And then you're using, um, this to do your own dialogue uh, in front of students. And actually I also found, so for a hook, you could do a video too. And I found this really awesome video. I'll put a link to it in the comments. It's 10 best Super Bowl commercials. Uh, and by the way, I did this in like five minutes. I planned this like lesson on dialogue, this mini lesson on dialogue like five minutes. So I was like, okay, I want to teach dialogue. So how am I going to hook kids in? So I just like in YouTube, I typed, you know, awesome, funny dialogue. And one of the things that came up was 10 best Super Bowl commercials. And I kind of watched it for a little while. And one of them was these brothers. It was a little brother and an older brother. And there was no dialogue in the video. And the older brother is pick, constantly picking on the little brother. And it just like goes on and on and on and on and the little brother's all sad and then he gets bullied by these other kids and the big brother goes in and like tells the bullies to leave him alone and then he, the big brother of course like messes with him again. There's no dialogue at all but I thought that would be so neat to show. There's other funny videos in that link that I just posted that you could use to hook your kids in but it would be neat to show kids like okay I'm going to write dialogue for this, this, it was a Coke commercial actually. Um, and I'm going to write it in front of students. So writing in front of students is really powerful. Another way you can model is by pulling out a mentor text and analyzing like just a part of the mentor text. Okay, how does Gary Soto use dialogue? Like how is he using dialogue in the jacket? I don't even know if there's any dialogue in the jacket. By the way, that's like my, one of my favorite mentor texts for memoir, The Jacket by Gary Soto. Uh, so, you know, just looking at it and analyzing it in front of students. And then the last 
part of the structure is having the students practice. Either they can practice by themselves, like uh, in the meeting area. Here's my meeting area. I, I just recently bought this rug. Um, so I let students sit like, you know, all over the place. They can sit in their seats, they can sit on the rug. Sometimes they get, to, they, I let them lay there. <laughs> I, I let my kids lay on the rug. Um, as long as they're focused, like I'm okay. Uh, and so they practice, they are writing in their notebook or they could talk, you know, about the rules, uh, punctuation rules of dialogue. Uh, and yeah, that's the structure. So it's a hook, teaching point, model it, let the kids practice, and then you excuse them. They go off and they do their job as writers, and you're rolling around. I, I say rolling around because I love doing this in my classroom. Where's my rolly chair? I'll be right back. I this, I got this like doctor's office chair, and I just like roll around in my classroom. I seriously, literally roll around. I'm like all over the place, you know, helping kids, like show me how to use dialogue. And they'll like show me and, or I'll look at what they did in their notebook when they were supposed to be doing it in the meeting area to see like, okay, who's got this, who still needs a little bit more support. This is why I love writing workshop because you can like, you can teach like direct instruction lesson to your whole class. And some of them are like, Miss Werner, I already got this. This was just a review. And some of them really needed it. And some of them need more. And so I'm going to keep going and keep teaching while they're writing. Um, so yeah, that's how I write my own mini lessons. And like I said, sometimes I don't even write this stuff down. I just wing it. I just say, I want to teach this tomorrow. I want to teach this the next day and the next day. And I just like write like just a simple and I might like look some stuff up real quick and say, OK, I'm going to use this video. I'm going to use this poster. I'm going to use this like slideshow that's really short and done. And, and you just and, and that's what I love about teaching middle school and high school. I have never taught high school, but like, you know, the first lesson is kind of rocky, like first period, it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to change that, and I'm going to change that, and this, and this, and this, and you know what's going to work for second period, and third period, fourth period, then I have prep, and then I teach drama. But anyways, that's how I write my own, that's what I do. That's, that's the process. Um, okay, oh, another thing I wanted to talk about was, this is kind of funny, um, you know, if you want to write your own mini lessons, go find a mentor. Uh, go read a mentor text. So where can you find mini lessons? Well, if you go to this, I'm going to put another link in the uh, comments. If you sign up for my mailing list, you get a ton of free stuff. So if you're not signed up for my mailing list, you should be because I have this like whole page of like all this free stuff. And so you can go and look at like, you know, free mini lessons for information writing, free for argument, free for narrative. And you can kind of look at like how I do it um, and then just use me as your mentor and write your own. Um, and like, I do feel like people who look at my mini lessons and like I look at Lucy Calkins mini lessons, I don't teach it like exactly the way that she teaches it. And she doesn't like, I went to the writing institute like two years ago and all of those people, like all those writing institute people, they say, make it yours, you know, insert your own personality, your own stories, your own passions into your mini lesson, right? Like you don't want to follow some script like to a T because it's, it's boring unless it's just really, really amazing. That's pretty much all I do to write my own mini lessons. I hope this was helpful. Okay, bye everyone.